Hi, I don't think I have a vlog going on right now. So this is probably the start of one. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Katie Wismer. I'm an author and an editor. I have seven books out currently. Today's a Thursday and I'm working. <laughs> Thought I'd take you long. Start a vlog today. Yeah, so I'm currently working on two projects. One's called Broken Perfect Lies and it's a romantic suspense standalone. And the one's called Bloodless Ties, which is the third book in my new adult vampire romance series, The Marionettes. So Bloodless Ties, the portion of the book that I've been working on is going to my critique partner next week. And I think I have finally gotten that part of the book to where I wanted to be before I sent it to her. So I'm taking a step back from that. And now we are just focusing on Broken Perfect Lies, at least for the duration of today. So what I'm doing right now is making my note cards. So I'm writing out every scene that I have in the draft so far, one per note card, and I'm using different colors because I've got different points of view. So one of the point of views I've already written all the way through to the end, and then another one I've started adding into it, but um, it's still lacking, like it needs several more chapters. So I'm trying to figure out where these things can go. So I'm gonna lay out all of these note cards once I have all of the scenes written out, and then I'm gonna brainstorm all of the new scenes that I know we need start figuring out where they go and there's still quite a few scenes I need to brainstorm like I know I need more but I don't know what and I don't know where so it's gonna be just a lot of like sitting here and it's not gonna look like I'm doing a lot of work I'm just gonna be sitting here thinking a lot today that's the plan also I finally finished the special edition I guess it's not a special edition I finally finished the hardcover for Wicked Souls I've been releasing hardcovers of each marionettes book with bonus content in the back. They weren't previously available as a hardcover you could get as a paperback, so the hardcovers have exclusive bonus content that you can't get anywhere else. And so each hardcover has different bonus content. So I was writing a bonus scene for Wicked Souls. That's all finished. I got that all proofread. I've got the final files uploaded. You can officially pre-order the hardcover for Wicked Souls. It's coming out June 6th. I'm so relieved. I've been working on this forever. I've been meaning to work on this forever and I've just had so many other projects going on that I haven't been able to prioritize this one. I think you guys are going to love the bonus scene. I hope you do. If you have any guesses as to what it is, feel free to let me know. I ended up taking one of the chapters from the book and writing it from a different character's point of view the entire chapter, so it's quite a long bonus scene and it was one of my favorite chapters to write anyway in the book so then just writing it from another character's point of view was equally as fun i hope you love it i'll have links down below if you want to pre-order it sometimes it takes some time for the links to process like for now i think the amazon one it's showing up but it's not showing up as available it just like needs time to figure itself out but i know you can for sure pre-order it from barnes and noble booktopia and book depository already does that light help i think it does so that's one thing just like completely off of my plate completely off the checklist so that's a relief. Been a long time coming. I am really hoping to have like a breakthrough with this book today. I've been like slowly chipping away at it. I pull it up sometimes, but I haven't like really been able to fully immerse myself into this story and fully focus on it because I've been so scatterbrained and working on so many different projects. So today I'm not pulling up any other book. I'm only thinking about this book. So I'm hoping being able to like fully immerse myself into it, something is gonna click. Like, or I'm just gonna figure out at least like one thing that I need to figure out, you know, like one scene I need to write that's gonna be like the perfect fit for something here. It's just gonna appear today. That's the hope. You know when you have those like aha moments, I want an aha moment today. I've never been able to force an aha moment, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping today. It's gonna take me a while to make these note cards. I've only made one so far. So this is the first task. Mm -hmm. you down and I know that I was not always around I made you feel feel alone you spent most of your nights just sitting on your own I should have done so much more like giving you the things you asked for and I know I was wrong what I try to tell you with my song Tell you with my song What if I said I'm sorry? What if I'd make a scene? Wouldn't that make you mine again? You're all I'll ever need Didn't I make you laugh? 
Hello, so today is Sunday and I realized I hadn't updated the vlog in a bit. So I did officially wrap up part one for Bloodless Ties and I sent that over to Jesse. So now I am not touching that book. I'm not looking at that book for a while. I think the break will be helpful. And I've also done something unusual for my process, something that I don't typically do. And I've hired a developmental editor for Broken Perfect Lives, which I don't know, I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying to be optimistic about this because I mean, I do developmental edits on my own. Anyway, I do a shit ton of developmental edits on my own and I use beta readers and critique partners and I go through several rounds of edits, but I don't hire developmental editors typically because they're so expensive and I feel like my, the people that I work with help me so much that it's never really been that much of a need. But I figured I would try it out. So I hired someone from Readsy and the only other time I've ever hired someone from Readsy was with my first book and I didn't have a good experience. So I've kind of stayed away from Readsy since then. So that's kind of why I'm a little bit skeptical, but we're gonna see how this goes. I figured this would be a good book to kind of experiment with working with a developmental editor to see if I even like it, to see if it's necessary or to see if my instincts were right and it's not gonna be like worth it for me for the amount of money that it costs so we'll see because this is a standalone it's not like they have to be familiar with the previous books in a series or anything that's why i feel like this is a good book to try it with and honestly my books have been selling so well lately because of the tiktoks and stuff going viral so i have a lot more money coming in because of the books so i can't really think of a better way to invest the book money other than like putting it back into future books and you know hopefully making them the best that they can be. We're gonna try this. And I also think this is gonna be helpful because I now have a date. I have a deadline. I'm gonna be sending this to my developmental editor on August 1st. So now I need to get this book done by August. So this has been a book that's just been kind of like in the background and I pull it up every so often and I just like haven't been dedicated to it or like particularly motivated to work on it because I've never had like a date to work towards and now I do. So while Jesse has Bloodless Ties, that gives me June and July. That gives me two months to wrap this book up, which is totally reasonable, I think. And I think it would be nice if I can focus on this book until August, and then I send it off to her for August, and then I can get back to focusing on Bloodless Ties for August and September. And ideally, I wanna have Bloodless Ties done somewhere in October for copy edits, because it's coming out in November. I'm sure I will continue to work on Bloodless Ties somewhere in June and July. I don't think I can just like set it aside for two months. I'm not capable of that and there's still a lot of work to be done. I think it'll be good for me to just like really focus on one project at a time as I keep saying and give myself a little bit of <laughs> urgency with having a deadline. I think this will help me. I still haven't set a release date for Broken Perfect Lies yet because my main priority is still Bloodless Ties. That one has the pre-order up. That one's got a date. So Broken Perfect Lies, it'll just kind of depend on how the next few months go and how it starts to shape up, you know? Originally, I was hoping to release it before Bloodless Ties, but now I just like don't want to pressure myself so much and rush and try and get this one done. Like that just, there's no reason to do that. There's no rush to publish this one. It's not, it doesn't matter if it comes out before Bloodless Ties or after Bloodless Ties. It just depends on when it's ready. I'm not gonna publish it before it's ready. And I'm not gonna stress myself out for like no reason. <laughs> like I don't, I don't need to publish an extra book this year. Like it, there's no reason to do that. I did make a Goodreads page for it though. You can add Broken Perfect Lies on Goodreads if you would like. So yeah, it's a Sunday. I had such a good day yesterday, like a full like, break day where I didn't do any kind of work stuff. I cleaned my apartment, went to the farmer's market, I went to the bookstore, I went to Whole Foods, I made myself dinner, I watched a scary movie. Like it was just like the perfect day. It was the perfect day. So today I'm actually thinking I just want to work on my books. Like that's just what sounds good to me. So we're gonna work on Broken Perfect Lies. Do you guys want to see the books that I got from the bookstore? I feel like you might want to see those. So I went to Powell's. I also actually just got this in the mail from Literati. I'm a part of if they're read like an artist club. So the book for this month is Understanding the Invisible Art Comics. I mean, this is definitely not something I would pick up on my own. So I'm interested. That's kind of what I like about this book club. They always send me books that I've never heard of before that I would probably never find in my own. But then the books that I actually went and bought myself, I got a couple of poetry books. Um, I've never heard of any of these books that I grabbed. I just 
kind of browsed and found things that looked good. So the first one is No Matter the Wreckage, Poems by Sarah Kay. This one was in the small press section. And basically how I pick poetry books is I flip through and I read a random poem and if I like it, I get the book. Um, and then I also got New Names for Lost Things. And this one has pictures and stuff in it too, so. I don't know. I'm excited for it. And then I also got the complete guide to astrology. I don't really know much about astrology to be honest and I've just been kind of enjoying learning new things and yeah. I was just kind of interested in it. And then I also picked up a new puzzle because you guys know I love my puzzles and I have officially worked through all of the ones that I already got. So this one I thought was really pretty on the astrology theme it's a foil puzzle that's like my determining factor for when i buy puzzles i just want it to be pretty to look at while i work on it <laughs> it's a thousand pieces we're gonna work on broken perfect lies today i don't remember the last time i updated you i actually wrote quite a few new scenes for it since our last chat i feel like we're making some good progress i definitely brainstormed a good list of scenes to add it's not all of the scenes that i'll need to add but um, I was talking about how I feel like I don't know these characters very well and I just the couple of scenes that I have written I feel like I've gotten to know the love interest so much more just through these few scenes and I'm feeling a lot better about it now and it's been interesting seeing my main character through his perspective in some of these scenes and I feel like that's helping me understand her more too so um, I'm feeling good about this I am. Mm -hmm. 